What's pop, yo? It's almost like it happened slowly, then all at once. Because Drake has been catching L after L after L. It's compounding, really. The most recent L was him hopping on that sexy red song that was straight garbage. Trash. This, whew. I... I don't even, words can't even describe how bad overall that song is. Not Drake's verse, but it does, it's not, not only that. Not only does the song suck, Drake's verse is, is good, but who wrote the verse? I think Drake wrote the verse in this case. But also, the narrative, which is, oh, when I see you in Sexy Red, I see two, you know, bad chicks. Or, no, I think you see two bad chicks. But now, it comes out that Vori, who was part of the Dream Chasers, he was somewhat either rolling with or signed to Meek Mill, and also a heavy contributor on Donda. Incredible vocals, he's an artist of his own. It comes out and leaks that he pretty much did the majority of Drake's mob ties. Now, this disappointed me because Mob Ties was my favorite track off of Scorpion. Keep in mind, Mob Ties was not a direct diss at Kanye, but it was when the issues with Kanye were going on and they were really, he was upset with Ye at that point in time. So this diss, or not really a diss, was pretty much most of it written by Vori and laid down on a reference track. Uh, a buddy of mine had hit me and he's like, yo, how do we even know this is real? How do we verify these things? Which is a good question because if people were putting out fake songs during the beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake, or AI songs with the AI voice, what's stopping people from doing that with reference tracks? So let's say I took Lil Wayne's voice. There's so much out there. Actually, not Lil Wayne's voice. Yeah, what's stopping someone from performing a track and saying that they did the reference for somebody or it leaking? So let's say I take Vori's voice, for instance, and I, let's say, I do the reference for a track that A Boogie did. And I'm like, yo, this reference track just leaked. This person was writing for A Boogie with the hoodie. Either one or both of them would have to come out and say, hey, that's not true. But then I think a bunch of people, if they want to believe it, they will believe it. So we run into this issue now. That's not the case here because Vori was credited as a writer on this. Circling back, I was very disappointed because Mob Ties is my favorite song on there. I can't tell you how many times I've listened to that song. And then to hear this, Vori's version sounds great. I don't know why people are saying, yeah, I could see why he gave it to Drake. Nah, this was good. Vori had a good voice for it too. What I think, do I think it would have gone as far as when Drake did it? No, absolutely not. But that's just the nature of an artist that's way bigger. Like if Party Next Door did work himself, would it have become a global smash number one hit? Like when Rihanna did it? No, absolutely not. It's just how things work. But I want to address the shambles in which Drake stands are in right now. They've listed a bunch of different things, which I want to knock down one by one. The first is, oh, he was credited as a writer. I think this is somewhat of a cop-out. A lot of people are credited as a writer. The producers are credited as a writer. Some people that were just in the room are credited as writers. If someone was sampled, they're credited as a writer. So we don't know in what capacity someone was involved if they were credited as a writer. For instance, hear him here and he says, hey, yeah, you know, he's got writing credits, but he didn't really write much of this. And the reason why making an assumption like that is completely fair is because we don't know in what capacity someone wrote if they have writing credits they could have wrote the whole song they could have gave him a word they could have maybe gave him a line maybe they could have told him to switch two words we don't really know but when we hear the reference track and i think people assume that the person wrote less than they actually did so when we hear the reference track and we're hearing two minutes straight of what's pretty much identical some people will say nah it's not the same yeah dog no. drake pretty much did the hey I'm going to copy your homework, but don't make, don't copy a word for word. Just make it look like you switched a couple of things around. And that's what this was, which brings us. That's why the whole, oh, he's credited as a writer doesn't really apply. Now, if they say Vori was ghostwriting, no, nobody was saying that. They said a reference track. Lead. So that completely falls flat. It was just the hook, not the full song. Now, people use this in this case. It doesn't work. And in other cases, it doesn't work. So let's say people want to deflect and say, oh, no, I was just everybody does, this, which is another argument we're going to tackle where they come out and say, well, you know, it's just the hook. Like Drake did the verse. What are you talking about? I'm listening to a minute and 55 seconds, damn near two minutes of a song that ended up releasing. And the released version has what about like three, three minutes, something like three minutes and 25 seconds. Yo, this is two minutes out of it. What are you doing? What are we doing here? And the most important part is the hook of this. So this is just absolutely wrong. 
it's not just the hook. However, when Drake stands try to use this, they're also saying, hey, it's just the hook that Drake uses and he writes his verses. Meanwhile, you could just show them Jumbotron popping by Lil Yachty, and that song was one for one, copy and pasted, every word, every bar, every line, everything. So it's not just the hook that this guy takes. But then, if you present that, they're gonna come up with a list of other excuses when that's not what we're talking about here. Your point that you made was, oh, he just uses hooks which is not the case in Mob Ties, and it's most definitely not the case in Jumbotron Poppin'. So let's not move it elsewhere, which is something that Drake stands love doing. It's not just Drake stands. I'm just using them to fill in here. It's most stands of any artist. This is what they do. So those are two things. The third thing is, oh, what about a XYZ person using reference tracks? This person's doing it too. And we're not talking about that person. And the thing is, they're just outright lying. People are saying, man, Lil Wayne got reference tracks and Jay-Z and Nas. Where? Please show me. Where are these reference tracks that they got? And the thing is, people will say, oh, they use references. Actually, back then, most of the hooks, they got vocalists to do. For example, Lupe Fiasco, he was known for getting vocalists to do hooks. Eminem, he would get vocalist singers to do the hooks. Jay-Z would do that frequently too. So in the 2000s, it was kind of known like, hey, you just get someone else that's a singer that's more fit for their voice to do the hook as opposed to what, like taking the reference and there's no proof of it. So they're just outright lying, putting it out there like, yo, nah, there's Lil Wayne reference tracks out there. We're, we're not tolerating any of that. There's zero proof. So you can't just come out and say the person A, B, C, and D is doing this too when there's zero proof of person A, B, C, and D doing anything. So it's just a smoke and mirror for something that doesn't even exist. This is the most ridiculous one that I've seen. And then people had the nerve to say that Kendrick Lamar was using reference tracks. Kendrick Lamar was laying down reference tracks for Baby Keem. Let's, let's get that out the way, first of all. Number two, the only thing that's come out is some dude that was lying on Roddy Rich saying he wrote for him and saying that he put down a reference track for Kendrick Lamar. Which, if the guy's a liar, are we gonna buy what he was talking about? That didn't end up going anywhere. And if there was any time for reference tracks to leak about Kendrick Lamar, or people to say that they wrote for him, you don't think that would've leaked during the Drake beef? 100% it would've leaked. If not, to at least get that artist attention. So the artist would've had someone else leak it. Either a hater, not a hater, either somebody that wanted to Drake to win would have leaked the reference track, or possibly the artist may have leaked it just just so there's more clout on their name to get better opportunities. Because if people find out, yo, somebody, here's the reference track for Kendrick Lamar, all right, the, that artist, writer, whatever you want to call it, their stock is shooting up. That was prime opportunity for it to happen. Did not happen. Does that mean it can't happen in the future? No, but we're not just going to throw a person using reference. We're not just going to throw disrespect and pretty much slander on Kendrick Lamar's name because people assume that he's also doing something because Drake's been exposed for doing it. God knows how many times. This also happened with Grease. Grease was a song, I think, in a different language, the one that he did for DJ Khaled. The cadence, the melody, the lyrics weren't really taken, but... It was pretty much translated. You could find it on the internet. So Grease was taken and Grease was such a smash. So we're finding out that all these Drake songs that we love, it's somebody else that was laying them down. I think that pretty much shatters all the arguments that people could have made. I can't think of many others, but this looks bad for Drake because it's bad thing after bad thing after bad thing. For for example, people use the numbers argument very often when it came to this beef with Kendrick Lamar. But Kendrick Lamar's winning on numbers on this beef. So what is it? And that's probably a topic for another video, which I may or may not do. I'll put that out there. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. If you actually want to hear the reference, it's on my IG. I can't can't post it here. Copyright reasons. At Hell You Seen. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Peace.